Welcome back to another research submarine video, but today we're going to be adding LiDAR, which is an underwater laser used for scanning the bottom of the ocean bed. So we're going to be able to see if there's shipwrecks under here with this laser, but we're going to go ahead and install this today. So here it is, guys. This is the LiDAR we're going to be using, a very simple little microcontroller, and here it is on Workshop. But what we're going to do is copy this microcontroller, and hopefully we have enough room, because in our last video, we really didn't have a whole lot of room in this microcontroller room. And oh yeah, it's not looking too good. I don't exactly know what we should do here. I think we're just going to try stacking it on top of a different microcontroller i hope we're just going to do it on one that's not as important so why don't we just go ahead and do that and then we'll merge it in will that work oh it does work okay perfect that's what we want then we're going to grab the monitor here and we actually need to make like a control station in here for the lidar itself i'm kind of thinking right here and then we can put this monitor maybe on the wall actually we'll put the lidar monitor probably right there and then get rid of some of this medical equipment because we don't really need that i guess now that we have our lidar we're going to put this all the way at the bottom of this thing right next to our um, actual other laser in here which is like a depth thing that we have so where should we actually put this because it's going to go through the floor here i think we'll put it right here so it'll be pretty close to like um the other laser but it's going to be towards like the more center of the ship but it's still in the front so we're going to put it in there just like that and rise it and there we go that's about all we have to do to install this but the majority of this video is us actually going to be testing this and kind of looking for um shipwrecks here on the map and i might spawn some in because there's not really a whole lot of shipwrecks in this game so what we're going to do is just add some video to this monitor here so we'll have to grab the video feed from that and then we'll connect it to the monitor I just added and make sure we have electric to everything also. And then for this button right here that turns on all this radar and stuff, we'll just connect it straight to this monitor. So we'll just do um, systems for the station. There we go. Systems have been added right here. So that should turn on the monitor, but we definitely don't want to leave this open because that leads straight to a ballast tank. And I'm not really trying to flood this entire um, control room here. So uh, what should we add here? I don't know. Actually, I don't think we actually need any more buttons there. So we're just going to replace this stuff. But now what we're going to do is go ahead, spawn this in and test it. Let's make sure um, I have everything connected here so we need electric for this lidar thing i think i already added that right and then before we do that i think we forgot this constant number here oh it's a constant on. all right so i think we can just delete all this just like that and then we're gonna spawn this and test if our lidar works this is gonna be amazing guys oh i see the laser you guys see that thing oh my gosh that thing goes fast i think we need to put that on infrared mode because i don't really want to be seeing that anyways let's go on this monitor here and there we go so we can make a large image if we click um oh oh yeah we didn't uh, connect to composite so it's not gonna work okay that's why I was clicking stuff and it didn't do anything. So we need to connect composite to our monitor here straight to this uh, motherboard from the touchscreen. There we go. Now it should work. I do have this on the ultimate tsunami survival boat if you guys don't know. But there we go. It is um, actively working right now. So we're going to activate it and put it on a large image. So it'll scan really fast going through there just like that. And what I'm going to do is put myself down here like where the laser is going to scan. And we're going to see if I can see myself on the monitor there. So once this laser actually scans me, we're going to see. Here we go, guys. The laser is going over me. Will it see me? Oh, oh. Oh, okay, I'm not trying to move that much. Okay, the laser's past me. So now we're going to go teleport up here and see if I can see myself on the monitor. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I think I do. I'm a single pixel. Okay, well, at least it actually does work. But that is the seafloor right there. We will be able to see if there's a shipwreck. So why don't we go ahead and test that? So now we have this shipwreck here that should sink instantly. But we're going to kind of see here because I did put a thousand holes in it. So I want it to sink all the way to the bottom. And it kind of looks like it's floating. Is there any air? There really isn't any air. Um, Okay, it's, it's a little bit floaty though. Now what we're going to do is spawn that vehicle all the way out. But there the boat is over there. It should completely sink. I did fill it up with a couple of weights. So it's directly over there. But we're going to go find it with our um, LiDAR scanner here. All right, so we need to drive to it, of course. So we're going to um, actually, I think we're just going to turn on infinite electric. We're not going to try starting the reactor on. So there we go. We're going to turn this on and we're going to drive to the shipwreck. And hopefully we can kind of see it on this monitor here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have um, spotlights under this thing. So hopefully um, the water doesn't get too deep around here. And I actually want to be able to see it with the spotlight. So this will be perfect. Here we go. We are going towards them. Um, can we see that on the map? We actually can't see it on the map. So this is going to be interesting. I have no idea where it's even at oh i think i see it right there you guys see that okay it's definitely right there we are arriving on it it's not that deep there's definitely deeper parts in this ocean so we kind of chose a really bad spot for this but that's fine that's fine all right i do see it on the monitor right here that's pretty cool all right we are arriving towards it right now we're gonna stop it here just in a second to make sure our lighter can pick this up so let's go start putting our throttle down just like that there we go all right throttle is down and we're gonna want to pull forward just a little bit more just like that guys we are directly above it but once we go to a complete stop here we're gonna turn on our lidar so we are at a little bit of a list so why don't we go ahead and fill some of our um right ballast so we're gonna fill our bottom right ballast just like that and we should even out here so we'll put like five thousand. there we go it is perfectly even now so that's what you do if uh, it's a little bit less deep but now we're gonna activate lidar here so it should start scanning the laser here um we are in a pretty shallow spot so i don't know if this 
this is going to work too well. But here we go. It's scanning. It should reach the shipwreck here in just a couple um, seconds or minutes. I don't know. It might take a little bit, but we're going to see. It's just scanning the bottom of the ocean. We don't see anything abnormal yet, but it should be around right here where it starts picking it up or maybe in a second here. Yeah, it's getting really close to it just in a couple more um, swings. So this one right here should pick it up. Okay, so it picked up a little bit right there. We're starting to pick up the shipwreck on the LiDAR currently. That is good. That is perfect. And what we're going to do is turn off um, our spotlights here. Oh, shoot. We're kind of leaning to the right now. We're going to drain the right. All right, we're draining the right now because I kind of think I made it lean too much. Here we go. We do have the shipwreck on on lidar that is actually insane it's like a clear view of the ship we can obviously tell that is a ship right there so that is amazing and then we can um zoom in and out oh i just messed it up oh uh okay never mind that refreshes it but then we can click a medium mode so this scans it much faster so we can see the shipwreck in a um smaller um grid here i definitely do see it but yeah guys now we can actually see shipwrecks in this thing i might do a video here in a couple days maybe even tomorrow of us actually exploring the titanic or the britannic sunken at the bottom of the ocean that seems honestly pretty fun but there it is guys we can clearly see the antennas on this but it's just because we're too shallow so this actually would be way way smaller once we do the titanic and stuff because i don't think the titanic's gonna be this deep actually i think it'd still be sticking out of the water if it's sunk in this it's a little bit too shallow over here but yeah now we have a lighter let's go ahead and kind of test our um little rov here so what we're gonna do is do connect i think it's already on oh there it is okay then we're gonna do launch rov here and then we have a clear map of where it's at i just love this thing whoever made this props to them but now we're gonna turn it straight to nighttime here here just like that and then we're gonna turn on what were we gonna turn on um i want ir mode is there like an infrared mode i really hope there is uh spotlights um those aren't even i mean the spotlights are working quite well but i just can barely even see anything on this okay you know what? we need to turn on some lights we're just gonna activate some emergency lights here because it looks way better um you guys can do that too if you want emergency lights are perfectly fine but there we go um is there an ir mode um i don't think so that's fine though that's fine um okay we're just look we're that's the bottom of the ocean right there we're kind of just looking for the um shipwreck that we just sunk right over there but there's the rov right over there we're just trying to do a u-turn right now because it is going um the wrong way on the map here so we want it to be facing towards us right over there so it is turning quite fast this thing is really good but any second now we should actually see the um shipwreck here so where's it at what's our rov turning radius looking like okay so it's right there perfect there right there now we should start seeing it oh my gosh that is so creepy we can see the shipwreck in the um rov camera this is insane honestly stormworks has gone so far it looks so nice too like honestly this what a great um view right here it actually looks like real footage from real life that we're looking at right now let's turn off our spotlights oh yeah spotlights is completely black don't want to do that at the bottom of the ocean but here it is guys the sunken ship we just sunk i can't wait to do this titanic video on this this is going to be actually insane but we can actually see some of the interior here a little bit once i get a little bit closer all right we're getting pretty close here these lights are honestly really bright oh gosh okay i don't think i should get that close it's getting a little bit bright but you can kind of see some interior going on there um let's turn off our lights here can we see anything oh no okay we definitely need those on but yeah we can see some of their monitors in there so oh yeah um we're not trying to run into the ship here oh i think we just crashed into it okay that's lovely oh yeah i definitely felt that but there's our little water cannon right there that um does fight fires so this is a search and rescue boat that we did sink but let's turn on our um underwater spotlights on our submarine right here now we should really be able to see it pretty clear um with that so oh yeah that looks awesome oh my gosh the lighting in stormworks is like so insane i love I wonder if we can pick this thing up on sonar. I don't think we can because I think it needs um actual noise for sonar. I don't know. That's just how it kind of works in this game because yeah, I don't know. That's a little bit funky. But yeah, this is an actual working um lidar right here, which we're going to be using to find a shipwreck. But now that we got everything all working here, why don't we go mess around for a little bit in this? So why don't we just like run this straight into the bottom of the ocean? We're going to fill all of our ballasts here. So emergency fill. Here we go. We're filling all ballasts. Oh, we're going to sink. Okay. It looks so cool in here with all of like our monitors and stuff i might put an additional lidar monitor right up here so one of the captains can actually see it that'd be pretty lit but here we go let's activate our reactor here just to like have more screens on it looks so nice with like all these screens it looks actually like advanced submarine type stuff you know oh we actually are picking it up on um sonar we just had to kind of drive away from it a little bit um okay that's actually awesome so that's how we can also locate some shipwrecks which is good and it disappeared from our sonar okay that's a little bit creepy but um something cool with this sonar we can actually click on it and it says the mass so 800 and 
11 and then negative five i don't actually know what that means but yep we are driving away our ballast is being filled there's actually a ship um directly in front of us are we detecting that on any um sonar or radar here we actually aren't okay let's zoom out a little bit see if we are oh we don't even have radar on okay radar's now on are we picking him up okay let's keep zooming out he's pretty far in front of us right he's um actually i don't think radar's gonna work we're really far underwater okay so we're gonna rise altitude here just like that and kind of resurface we're gonna see if we can resurface with full ballast he should be right over there nope we are fully resurfaced so i don't know what that is but we're not detect oh there we go okay so what is that a negative six i don't know what that means but it's uh, some type of code but yeah that is like a fishing boat over there we are spotting on radar here so that's good that we're actually detecting it what is this but um something cool about this is if we spawn some megalodons and krakens we can actually um see what it is if we hover over it so if you guys are wondering what this is all we have to do is select it and guess what that's a megalodon meg that means megalodon so really cool sonar here i honestly love this so much oh and then there's a shark over here it switches from like megalodon to shark never mind there is a megalodon and a shark in the same area and then i think there's a kraken somewhere actually over here but i think we should start diving here there is a megalodon lurking under us somewhere in the deep underwater dark ocean oh gosh oh bottom distance is actually really deep over here um i do not have the crushing mod enabled currently so we can go straight to the bottom without getting crushed uh i probably should have turned that on oh oh that's the bottom stop 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 don't pull up oh my gosh guys we have a slight issue going on here okay i hear a beep here beeping that means we have water inside i think everything should be working though our lidar and stuff anyways um we're gonna be blowing the ballast here we need to get to the surface immediately so turn all this stuff off like that and then we're gonna blow the ballast just like that okay pump all this water out immediately we are filling up with water bottom left is not draining oh there we go okay that was a little bit concerning um oh why weren't those filling i don't know guys we're at a very bad angle right now like we're like kind of going straight down but what we're gonna do is do um emergency resurface hopefully our back one oh everything's working okay so should thrust us up perfect it just destroyed everything but it's all actually still working so our thrusters are working as hard as they can but they did just run out so we have the electric ones going on now with some very aggressive beeping let's check our water levels here so the laboratory is filling up with water rapidly so we're gonna activate bilge pumps for that room and it should go back down oh oh gosh it's not oh there we go okay guys we're having issues okay what's our depth looking like oh uh we can't even see our current depth but we are depth going up in depth till bottom so that means we are um floating up which is good dude that is an insane amount of depth till bottom i think that's a little bit inaccurate but i think we're actually resurfacing here oh yeah i see the surface let's turn it to daytime real quick and there we go we have resurfaced we're gonna want to turn that off though once we're up here all right we have resurfaced and then since we're like kind of at a really bad angle like this what you're gonna want to do is put our bow thrusters on so that should thrust us sideways just like that and it should level us out so just like that our top right bow thruster is on and it should push itself up just like that and then it should flip back over here um once it fixes itself hopefully it does there we go just like that that's how you um fix this thing but there we go we have emergency resurface and we're probably gonna leave in the escape pod here all right guys we did get in the escape pod we got some active emergencies going on okay close the door just like that and then activate our transponder and then turn on emergency power if the hatch does not open so that hatch right there um you guys did say connected to a different battery i might do that but we're gonna arm launch here which will open the hatch and then we should technically just float right out just like that perfect and then if you really want to you can click the launch button um it is pretty fun not gonna lie but there it is guys that is our submarine it is either finished or almost finished but let me know what you'd like to see me test next with our research submarine but that's probably gonna be it for this video guys let me know what you'd like to see next of course join the discord link is in the description drop a like and subscribe but thanks for watching and goodbye